Hi there. Today is a good day. And it's a good day because I get to play my drums again. Several months ago, I took you with me as I played a job with the Lighthouse Big Band. That's a 17-piece big band playing, oh, that night, the sounds of the Count Basie Orchestra. Well, today, I've got a totally different style of music to play. I'm actually playing in a musical pit. I'm playing drums for the musical The Adams Family. It's being put on by our local high school. And I was fortunate to be asked several months ago if I'd like to play it, and I said, sure. Musical theater is something I really enjoy playing. It, it's, it's a whole different mindset you have to be put in. You have to be paying attention to not only your music, but matching the rest of the musicians in the pit. And of course, syncing with the, the singers on stage. This is actually going to be my fourth time playing the Adams Family Musical. Um, the first time with this high school. But over the course of the years, I've actually played in 52 different musical pits. So I thought it'd be fun to take you along with me and show you a little bit about what it's like to be a drummer in a musical pit. So let's get to the high school and I'll show you what's going on. This is where I'm playing this evening. This is Fond du Lac High School. And right over there is the theater. As I mentioned in my last drumming video, the musicians usually don't get to go in through the front doors where everybody else gets to go in. We usually get to find the doors ah, usually nearest the trash cans to load all our equipment in. Fortunately, I have all my stuff loaded in there already, so it's just a matter of finding the back door and heading down into the musical pit. Here we are in the back by the trash cans, and here's the door I get to enter. Let's go walk inside. Here's the theater in our high school. It's an yeah. amazing theater. There's where the pit is. It's right underneath the front of the stage there. Let's see what this looks like from up on top here. Where's the chalice? Boom. Boom. Is that that three-note pickup? Uh, no, it's it's uh, this is a 106 in number 12. Oh, number 12. And then the same thing happens in in part two, for, song 14. Backstage before the show starts. This is the back hallway by the theater. This uh, musical pit actually has an elevator to bring some of the equipment down. And here's our door. So when you play in a pit for a musical, you're actually playing in a pit. The pit is under the stage. So we'll head down the stairs here. Almost there. I'm in my drum booth now in the musical pit. It is basically insulation, some rope lights. Couple of air fresheners in here. Of course, my drum set with auxiliary toys like castanets, woodlock, cowbell, triangle. I'm pretty well isolated from everybody else in the pit. They want to try to keep the sound of the drums from bleeding into all the other microphones in this musical pit. So I'm in a pretty much of a soundproof booth here. I can hear the music both from the musicians and the singers through a set of in-ear headphones that I have. And I'm able to read the music and turn pages on my Chromebook tablet by 
I'm tapping the little uh, pad right here. I have a good view of the auxiliary percussionist. Dave's over here playing mallets and lots of different toys. And you can see sort of in the back a few of the other musicians, some of the string players, maybe some woodwind and brass. And of course the director is up there. I usually get into the pit about an hour before showtime. That way I can make sure everything's in place, nothing's missing, make sure my music is all set to go, um, tune my drums up if I need them, and, and then do a little warm up. Today we're going to be working on a couple numbers to try to clean up a few things that we're having with a couple of the singers, so I need to put the phone down and start working on that. So we're in the process of going over some notes from yesterday's show. And we're about to hit it here. That being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy the Adams Band.
Well, that first act went pretty well. Let's hope the second act goes as, as well. It's a lot of fun playing in these musical pits. Get to meet a lot of great people, play some fun music, and make some great memories. See you at the end. So, that went pretty good. Second half, pretty nice. So, time to pack up a little bit. I don't have to take my set down because I've got another show tomorrow. See you in a little bit. As I mentioned at the beginning, this is actually a high school production. Uh, in the pit, though, we did have, I think, about four different adults playing different parts. Most of the uh, pit was kids from high school, but there are four adults in that pit, so... Usually after a Friday or Saturday night show, we hit one of the local establishments and have a beer and talk about the night. So that's where I'm headed now. Well, I just got done socializing a little bit with my fellow adult pit members from the Adams Family Musical here at the Backyard Grill. Had some good stories, a nice beer too. I'd like to thank you all for coming along with me today, seeing what I do when I play drums in a musical pit. See you next time. Hope you had a good day.